Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. Do you guys remember in 2022, uh, Mercedes-Benz made this concept car called the Vision EQXX. And this is a concept car where they talked about how aerodynamics and efficiency is very important for EVs because um, that extends the range and range is very important. So a lot of car companies are really focusing on aerodynamics now, not just Aptera, because they understand that efficiency equals range which is one of the big barriers to EV adoption is range anxiety. And this concept car achieved a coefficient of drag of 0 0.17. And this was the one that they tested it out in the real world and they got over 620 miles of range with their battery pack. So 1,000 kilometers is kind of the benchmark they were going for. So drag coefficient of 0 0.17. This was in 2022. And then in 2023, Terry Automotive put out their concept car which had a coefficient of drag of 0 0.168. So 0 0.002 better than the EQXX. Um, and so it seems like that is kind of the upper limit of coefficient of drag for a car that looks like a normal car, like a four, four wheel regular car was around 0 0.16, 0 0.17. And if you look at the most aerodynamic production cars that you can get right now, this these are the right relative coefficients of drag. So there's the Huawei Delanto, which is 0 0.193, then the Xpeng M3, 0 0.194, then the Xiaomi, a bunch of other cars at 0 0.195. And then this is the lowest coefficient of drag production car that you can buy in the United States, which is the Lucid Air at 0 0.197. A couple other Chinese cars. And then here's the a Mercedes EQS. So the EQS, you know, they took a lot of the cues from the EQXX and made a production car, the EQS, and that has a coefficient of drag of 0 0.20, which is quite good. And the Tesla Model S has a 0 0.208. And then the Hyundai Ionic 6 and the Audi A6 have 0 0.21. So that seems to be 0.2. 0.19 seems to be the upper limit of production cars and 0.17 seems to be the limit of cars that look like normal cars even in a um in a concept car if you look at production cars that are not available now but were available at some point in the past the leaders would be the ev1 it's amazing that the gm ev1 which is the first ev um, you know, in, in modern EV, it achieved a coefficient of drag of 0 0.19. So better than any of the current um, uh, coefficients of drag of any currently available production car. And then the uh, Volkswagen XL1, which was there, this was a production car. This is the one that um, Steve and Chris always talk about how VW spent almost a billion dollars developing this car. This one has a coefficient of drag of 0.189 so 0 0.189 and if you guys remember the light year zero um this was the solar car out of europe that their company went defunct they ran out of funding um, the other solar car remember was sono motors this is light year zero this one has a long kind of boat tail and this one had an aerodynamic shape of 0 0.175 the coefficient drag was 0 0.175 so very close to the eqxx and the Sherry uh, concept car. And this would have been a production car. And they made several of these, which they showed up on an auction site somewhere, like half built models of the Light Year Zero. Um, so this is still, it looks a little weird. It's very elongated and it has an unusual shape, um, but they did achieve a coefficient drag of 0 0.175. So it seemed to me that 0 0.17, 0 0.16 is probably the upper limit of coefficient of drag that you can get in a sort of traditional looking car package. However, just last week, Hyundai announced that they achieved a coefficient of drag of 0 0.144. That is very close to Aptera's um, claimed coefficient of drag of 0 0.13. And they, this is not, this is a picture of the Ionic 6, which is uh, 0 0.21. So a very aerodynamic car, but uh, not 0.144. Um, so, but they said it's a it's a, a sedan that looked very similar to an Ionic Six, 
and when they they talked about a couple of things they talked about that let them achieve this coefficient of drag is they have active cow cover so they the the covers would cover the intake the air intakes and then side blades i don't know what they mean um i'm wondering if they had a cover in the rear wheel that uh, came on and off or even the front wheel that came on and off like if you look at the xl1 the rear wheel is almost completely enclosed and that you can do that because the rear wheel doesn't have to turn in steering um so i don't know why people don't do that more often i mean it does make it a little bit harder to surf uh service and stuff but if you make it removable and make these um transitions smooth i think this greatly helps the uh, aerodynamics so i'm guessing that hyundai had to do that they had to cover the rear wheel i don't know how else they would have gotten a coefficient of drag of 0 0.144 that is amazing um so i looked all over for pictures of this concept car and i could not find it um hopefully i can find it at some point and then i'll have a follow-up video when i see it because i'm very curious as to what this thing looks like with a coefficient of drag that low but i think it's great that a lot of manufacturers are looking into efficiency um and i hope that this becomes more of a norm of having very very aerodynamic cars built and i hope that these a lot of these um these ideas from concept cars make it to production so maybe the next ionic 6 will have a coefficient of drag of like 0.17 that that would be amazing all right thanks for watching guys have a great day